Stephen Yanni here doing the junkyard crawl in Brimfield, Massachusetts at One Stop Towing, where they're doing some logging next door, but just bear with me because this one's worth the extra sound you might hear in the background. This is the great one, 1969 Pontiac GTO. These were amazing cars. This is uh, the second generation of the GTO. And keep in mind, there were 72,287 built in 69, of which about one in 10 or 7,436 were convertibles like this. Now we know it's a GTO because we see the GTO crest in the rear marker light. These came along in 1968, mandated by the government, the illuminated lights, but again, GTO, not seen on Tempest or Le Mans is, is. And under the back, dual exhaust, which was standard fare on all GTOs, even the 265 horsepower, two barrel 400 step down engine. So again, all GTOs had dual exhaust and yes, a 400 cubic inch engine up front. But along the way, yeah, let's check it out, man. One in 10 goats in 69 was a convertible like this one here. Now we'll see this does have the optional center console. It's an automatic, not a three speed manual or a four speed. Both those things are pretty cool. But again, the turbo 400 tranny. Now that transmission, the shifter, this is a different shifter than 68, which would have been the his, hers. This is a more simplified uh, direct quadrant type deal, but still cool. The steering wheel is the optional wood rimmed wheel, which was extra cost in 69. Uh, the transmission again, an automatic. The convertible top up and down next to the base of the steering column. You'll see the uh, top up down, the little rocker switch right there, the base of the steering column. Kind of a cool deal, convertible only. And again, this car, when it was new, was somebody's dream machine. This was a summertime chick magnet, you know, the ultimate in fun and enjoyment. And now here it is in the junkyard, kind of sad. But let's continue our walk. Bottoms of the fenders in 69, we got the GTO letters. This one here is TO, but this would have been a crest in 1968, 6.5 liters. But again, 69, they changed it up a little bit with GTO. Has the uh, style steel wheels with disc brakes up front, which were an option. Drums were still standard on GTOs. You paid extra for the Delco Moraine disc brakes. Now this one here, has probably been in a crash or something along the, the years because the GTO's unique styled hood with the scoops is not here. This is a basic flat hood, probably off a of Le Mans or a Tempest, who knows? And keep in mind, you know, muscle cars back then, Friday night, Saturday night, they often were skidded and hit trees or other cars, gently bend up the nose, get another nose, skip the GTO part, just get a regular Le Mans hood and put it on. So it's a real GTO with a 242 in the VIN for sure. But again, it doesn't have a GTO nose, but the nose the bumper on this is kind of unique. If this was a 68, this chrome bumper would be a possibility. We all know the Endora rubber bumper on 68 and 9 was a GTO key thing. Well, in 68, a total of 2,108 GTO buyers chose RPO 674, the chrome bumper delete credit. Well, 69, that was eliminated. So we know this is a replacement front bumper. That said, it also does not have the hideaway headlights that were optional in 68 and 69. This is the standard headlight, but cheap, check it out. These are the T3s. These uh, headlights, original headlights right there, the T3, that's GM factory installation stuff. Pretty neat. Okay, let's try and open the hood on this and see what's going on. Uh, these came with, again, a 400 two barrel or a four barrel Ram Air. Who knows what's under the hood? So let's take a peek and see. Uh, oh no. Here's the thing, I, I call this carthritis. That's where cars, like people, get kind of creaky with age. The hinge and the mechanism I cannot open. And I can see signs here on this side of the fender in the hood where somebody's been trying to pry this thing right there. There's a space. I can't open this thing and I can't really see in there. Um, there's one little thing I see inside of the car that's interesting. And it might be the tip of a 400 cubic inch iceberg. And that is this chrome valve cover oil filler cap. This would have been seen on a GTO on top of that 400. This was on the floor inside. It's possible the original 400 motor is still under that hood. We can't get in there. Frustrating. Another thing we do see is the front fender has a antenna right here. Now at the rear of the car, we also see a nicely formed circular hole right there. That's not somebody's slice and hack. 
This probably was a electric antenna car, wherein the antenna mass would be mounted in the rear because the motor wouldn't fit up front, antenna in the back. So it's likely that that front bumper was replaced and the front fender, leaving us with what looks like two antennas on one car. But that's the story of this 1969 GTO convertible. This is one of a handful built. Is there any hope for it? Who knows? But if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the Steve Magazine YouTube channel.